Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 16th, 2020. Well, yesterday we saw a nice surge back up as those bulls inspired by hopefulness. We had some progress in Congress yesterday with um, Democrats and Republicans kind of holding hands, singing kumbaya, and committing to getting a stimulus bill out by the end of the year. As a matter of fact, Mitch McConnell's uh, uh, words on that was that um, they will not leave Washington until a bill is passed. So that means no uh, they're not going to recess until they get a bill done. So uh, believe me, they're going to get a bill done because they all want to go home for the holiday. So it looks like um, um, we are gaining some energy on that information this morning, trying to gap up. We could open uh, markets up with new record highs this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have uh, markets kind of fueled up here. We also had kind of an interesting um, um, speech. Um, McConnell uh, got up in front of the Senate and congratulated Joe Biden for the win. Um, urging Senate Republicans not to resist this any longer, um, which is, you know, two weeks before Christmas, we finally may have a uh, decision here on the president-elect and maybe a, a path to start moving forward. Now, let's take a look at how the markets are being affected this morning. And one of the things I've got to, I just got to keep pointing out here is that our trends remain very bullish. There's just nothing in here yet that suggests bearishness. However, there are some clues to a little bit of concern starting to form here in the market. First, we had these that double top high that kind of came in here on the diamonds. And we're getting these little warning shots that just keep coming every once in a while in the market. That, And I think what we're beginning to see over in here that is that the bears are starting to get just a little bit more feisty than we have seen them for a while. Now, of course, stimulus news is always bullish for the market. But one of the things that I think that could have occurred is that we have been anticipating it for so long that once we finally get it, it's it could be a um, sell the news event. So kind of keep an eye on that. We're up here in pretty rarefied air, and we have stretched a lot of stocks to... Um, unbelievable valuations to be honest and we'll want to watch this pretty closely if those bears decide to fight back now there's tons and tons of hype out there even coming from the institutions that they expect just tremendous results next year in the market so that's continuing to keep this thing fueled up and just remember we can continue to rally in this market so what we want to do is we want to stay with the trend but we want to be a little bit careful we want to make sure that we're not over trading we want to make sure that we're not forcing trades in this market or getting caught up in the hype make sure you have a plan and, and that you're prepared to pull the trigger if something shifts if that sentiment were to shift and we do have some news events that could do that today so let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart and let's notice that although that 50-day moving average is catching up, we are still a long ways away from that 50-day moving average. It has a lot of catching up to do. And we can see multiple occasions when we stretch away from that 50 too far, we can have those big whoopsies that occur that can be very painful. And just keep in mind how painful it might be um, if if you all, whoops, sorry, that's a two-day chart. Don't know how I got there. But um, as you can see here, 
um, this day, on Monday, that gap up and complete reversal, that was a pretty painful day for a lot of folks that chased in right at the end of the day, or, or right at the first of the morning. So please keep in mind that sentiment can shift quickly. And that's just that little bit of warning that the bears are still here and um, they're, they're hungry. <laughs> so if they get a chance, if they see an opening, they could attack at any time. So just make sure you have a plan. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also showing trend here. Um, we, we had a little bit of a shakeup with this lower high that came in, but we reversed that yesterday, breaking that bearish candle to the upside. And now we're trying to push through, but let's keep in mind, we're pushing right up here to this resistance high in the chart. We've got a lot of news data today that could push us on through. Those bulls could have that um, uh, news events that push us on up and, and support that. We could also see that as a potential reversal point. So watch that closely. Keep in mind that we do have an upside trend and notice that we did have a little bit of a bobble in that trend just showing once again that evidence that the bears are here and they're a little bit feisty so if they decide to re-engage if there's some some news event that creates that re-engagement we could quickly have them come back in um, pretty fast so make sure you have a plan to protect yourself once again stay with the trend and, but have a plan in case things decide to shift. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ QQQ held up really, really strong and could actually set a new record high at the open today. But notice this big, ugly candle that we saw right here. We're pushing back up into the resistance at that big, ugly candle. And, um, you know, price action means something here. Our trend remains in play. But just keep in mind how painful it would be um, if you chase in this morning, if we just have a pullback just to the trend. So keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you're buying stocks at or near price support. Don't be chasing stocks that are already stretched out or at or near price resistance levels in the chart. There's a, a pretty substantial risk in that. So watch that closely and just keep in mind that we are still really way behind our 50 day moving average here. And it's a pretty typical situation when we stretch out like that, we find our way back there eventually. I don't know when it's going to occur. We want to stay with the upside trend, but we want to be prepared. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM enjoyed a really strong day yesterday, breaking out to new record highs, pushing up. It was really, really strong in here. And this is largely fueled by um, energy in the financials. We had some really good financials um, showing up yesterday. Um, and also some good energy prices showing up in here. So energy and financials really help to push this on up. So new record highs, and we're trying to set new record highs here at the open. You can see this candle right here is showing us the potential gap up this morning. So watch that carefully. And once again, remember that even if we just pull back to test support, in here that's a pretty substantial pullback so have a plan prepared in case that reversal does occur let's take a look at the vix now the vix i think is a little bit interesting even though we had that big push yesterday notice that the vix didn't give up all of the fear that came in just the day before that fear popped us up near that 50 day moving average, um, didn't quite break us through up there, but notice yesterday's big rally didn't take back all of that fear. That might be just a little bit of warning that there was a little, we're starting to see that caution that we might be reaching that elevation here in the market where it can be just a bit tenuous and we're gonna have to be focused and on, stay on our toes so that we don't get caught if we do suddenly shift that sentiment. So watch that closely. Now, as I've said before many times, I don't think we have any serious problem of a sell-off until we break that little downtrend right here and hold it as support. If that were to occur, then we could have some serious problems. But until that occurs, I think we're okay. And we could certainly rally right up into that 50 and turn and come back down, which obviously would be bullish for the market. So let's watch that closely here but we do have just that little indication um, and making new record highs with the 20 almost 23 handle in the VIX 
kind of a weird situation in my book. Let's take a look at um, T2122. And I got to tell you, this one gives me that pause, that concern. Notice that we had that shot down and that opened the opportunity for that big rally yesterday to the upside. And if we gap up this morning, notice that we are very much approaching, coming very close to 100% here in um, the T2122 indicator. We're reaching, and I shouldn't say 100%, but that 100 level, uh, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, we, we've obviously stayed elevated here for quite some time in the market, but that was a little bit of a warning that the bears are are still here so if we get any kind of change if we get any of that news that the market reacts negatively to or if we just run out of those bullish buyers that are willing to spend um, at these high levels we could see that pullback begin at any time so make sure you're ready for it that you're not that you're um, expecting it but we plan for it we prepare for it in case it occurs let's take a look at another marker that's giving me a little bit of heartburn and that's t2101 and we've been seeing t2101 uh, moving in a downtrend and as you can see this is the absolute market breadth index now what that means is that we actually have fewer and fewer stocks garnering support to continue to push this market higher and as we see those fewer and fewer stocks getting that um, aid and support to move the markets higher um, we have that set up where if we do get just a little bit of bearishness coming into the market it could quickly shift Okay, so watch that closely if that were to occur. Now, right now, the trend is still bullish in the market, but this is starting to concern me here just a little bit as that market breadth continues to decline and we continue to push and push and push for that upside move. Something's going to break here eventually, and I don't know if it's going to be T2101 or if it's going to be the indexes themselves. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And oh my goodness, we have a big day on our economic calendar. A lot of things that could shift around and change even before the market open. First, we had mortgage applications this morning and they showed a huge increase in refinance um, going on. So we have that happening and that may actually be indicating a little bit of an overheating in that market. So watch that close. We haven't had much of a rally since that big number came out. Um, I think it could be just showing that little bit of an overheat um, in that area. Then we have retail sales. Right now, consensus in here on retail sales, surprisingly, the consensus is showing a lower um, retail sales expectation here, a negative 0.3. Um, now, from what we've seen in the, the holiday sales, that just doesn't seem right. And it's possible um, that we beat that number today and that gives us that bullish push to the upside. However, if we were happen to miss on this or come in less than that minus three, um, that could be really disappointing to the market if that were the case. And we could see that that news event right there could be the news event that reinvigorates those bears. So watch that closely. Um, prior to market open, we could see quite a little bit of pushing around. We also have the PMI composite flash that can move us. Business inventories and housing market index will likely have less of an impact on the market. And then we have the petroleum status report here at 1030 a.m. Eastern. Now, the big guy, the big guy will be um, uh, firing off the fireworks here at 2 p.m. Eastern time with the FOMC announcement. Um, there was a story on CNBC this morning that they uh, there might be a little concern that, that the Fed might disappoint the market today, not providing um, a whole lot of um, additional support that the market seems to be craving right now. Um, so watch for that. If if uh, Powell happens to disappoint, that could be that event as well that kind of 
um, pushes us in the, in the southward direction. So watch that. And then we have the Fed press conference and just realize there can be lots of volatility around this event. Now, one thing I want to point out is it's pretty darn typical that um, – we see light and choppy price action as we wait for that FOMC announcement. So expect quite a little price volatility this morning based around these news events up here this morning. And then expect the, the market to kind of calm down dramatically and maybe get, maybe get really light and choppy as we head in to that FOMC and then look for that spike of volatility that comes um, on the that announcement. So... Um, could be an interesting day of trading we're gonna to have to stay on our toes let's take a look at our earnings now we don't have much going on on our earnings calendar today um, you know our earnings are winding down for the season um, but there are a couple that I want to make note of that are reporting today that could could have some market movement um, that we want to pay attention to take a look at Lennar Lennar will be porting, reporting today and as you can see right now, it's indicating a little bit of a boost up this morning. But we also want to make note that we've kind of been in this wedging uh, pennant type pattern here. Um, whether or not we're going to actually break through that or not. You know, some of these housing um, stocks kind of got carried away um, back here in October and they're struggling just a little bit now. So if we get a good enough report in here, perhaps we pop on out and, and see that um, resumption of the uptrend. If they happen to disappoint, then again, we could drop below the bottom of this wedge and then we would start looking for that opportunity for maybe some additional short in that uh, in that chart. Take a look at TTC. This is the last one I have on the list for today. TTC Toro might be interesting to pay attention to this. Now this has been climbing, 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 and we have a natural resistance level up here at 100. And I'll tell you, it's pretty common when we start seeing stocks pushing up in between that $90 and $100 range, that 100 is just like a natural magnet kind of pulling that up. So if they get a good earnings report, we could see that start lifting up toward that 100 level. However, if they happen to disappoint, we could easily break. We're kind of tight in this trend right here, pushing through some resistance. We're a little bit tight in that trend. It wouldn't take much of a bearish move in here to break that trend. So um, watch that carefully on that news report today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could please do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you find these videos to be helpful in your preparation for the day, then please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. We have a lot of folks that watch the videos that don't click those thumbs up and leave those comments. And, and honestly, guys, that helps an awful lot. I know it seems silly to have to do that and do it day after day after day, but I truly, truly appreciate it. And now with more than 950 videos on YouTube and, and over 16,000 subscribers, it's just very, very humbling to me that so many folks are um, finding value in these videos. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. Also, please feel free to share this video out on any of your social media platforms. Let's take a look at some stocks that I think could be setting up. And I want to remind everyone that every time I post a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's stock suggestion. Let's take a look at um, some of these financials. First, let me look at XL, um, excuse me, XLF, the financial sector ETF. Notice we had this little bit of a pop up and we're trying to push back up and break through. That bearish engulfing candle may break to the upside here with a little bit more upside push. So watch that carefully. But I saw stocks like WFC yesterday putting in really good bullish patterns here as you can see we consolidated this move here in the chart and trying to push on through this morning this is a classic pattern that I trade and um, looks very very bullish now one of the things we also have to pay attention to is not get too 
laser focus to the hard right edge and realize we do have price resistance out here that we need to be paying attention to in that chart. But good things happening here in some of these financials. Take a look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman had a really good day yesterday trying to perk up again. Remember, this candle is the pre-market activity. Trying to perk up yet this morning. So keep an eye on that. And once again, we will be, will be testing some resistance highs here in Goldman. So watch that carefully and, um, as we continue to push here in these financials. But a couple stocks there in the financial sector that you might want to make note of. Take a look at Lyft. Now, this was brought to my attention by one of the members of RWO. What a beautiful chart here in Lyft. Um, rallying up, holding on to trend nicely. This is a beautiful little consolidation over toward that trend and then yesterday brought in those bulls, pushing that up. This is what I call a pop out of the box. One of my favorite patterns to trade. And you can see it's a very common pattern. We push over to that trend and then the bulls come in and we can catch those early entries and low risk trades. And this is one of those things that I was mentioning earlier today. Be careful not to chase stocks that are already well within their move. Try to grab some of these stocks that are um, low risk entries near their support levels, near their trend. Those are going to be easier trades to make without taking so much risk in the position. But beautiful upside move here in Lyft. Take a look at UAA. Under Armour, my goodness, what a recovery here that we've seen in Under Armour. Really, really strong, breaking through, uh, uh, making resistance, um, uh, uh, holding support levels, uh, pushing on up into additional resistance levels and showing lots of strength. There again, there's that nice little tight consolidation in yesterday's pop up in there. As a matter of fact, if I show you my drawings on the chart, that popped my alert yesterday to the upside. So keep a look at UAA. And also notice that we have resistance above. We never want to forget that. Take a look at Peloton. I mentioned Peloton um, uh, yesterday. Um, and that had a beautiful move yesterday. Another one of those patterns where we rally up, hold on to support, consolidate over, pop those bulls come in and we move on higher peloton looking good and staying very very strong here in that chart take a look at caterpillar caterpillar is another we continue to rally in this caterpillar move there's that consolidation over to trend buyer stepping up trying to push on through and saw that in a couple other um heavy equipment like John Deere. John Deere also showing um, some bullishness yesterday. Not as clean a pattern as you can see. Pushing back up here into that resistance level, but something to pay attention to. Maybe something to keep your eye on in that chart. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke made this break of this downtrend, rally up, consolidate over. Now I'm biased here because I'm in this trade, but this is moving up for us nicely. Now I would expect at any time we get a bobble in the market, this could pull back, but watch that closely. These patterns are very, very bullish right now and show good signs of upward movement. Take a look at Crocs. Crocs continuing to move. This has just been one of those amazing trends. And you can see, push over to trend, buyer step in, push us on out. Push over to trend, buyer step in, push us on out. Move over to trend, buyer step in, push us on out. And this just keeps repeating over and over and over in the chart. And we're doing that same move right now. So Crocs showing lots and lots of strength here in the chart. Last but not least, take a look at ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil had another good day yesterday after that ugly pullback that we had in the chart, pushing up here and trying to move a little bit higher this morning in a gap up. Watch that carefully though, because we are approaching this resistance level in the chart, but we're starting to see some of those energies push back up after kind of a rough day on Monday. But um, watch those closely. Those energy sector stocks are looking pretty good. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Once again, I want to say stay with the trend, but be prepared at any time this market could shift. So with that, have a great day, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Talk to you all soon.